From Cornwall to Birmingham and Johnston and Bexhill, here's Ruben Spire on the radio. Um, hello to Christina Bauer. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, Kate, tell me, um, how long have you been a single songwriter for? Um, well, I've been writing songs for, oh goodness, since about 2007-ish. So, um, I would say about, gosh, almost 20 years. <laughs> uh, I, You know, when I was a kid, I used to write uh, like little poems and little songs too, but I didn't start playing guitar till I was a teenager. So I would say about that long. So um, what was it like going to the recording st studio when you first started? Um, oh, it was so exciting. I, I always love going to the studio and getting to put down vocal tracks. Um, but yeah, I remember the first time I went was actually um goodness i think it was actually an apartment where it was my first like true recording session and uh and now i'm getting to record at a studio in nashville which has been really neat to get to do so but that's exciting going to nashville recording in nashville yeah yeah uh grady saxman uh produced my latest single call me and i thought he did a great job so uh can you tell me uh more about your debut single called um, Independence. Um, oh boy, that was, so that was the first song I ever got to record. And, uh, um, you know, that was just a reflection song of growing up. And once you finally hit those milestones where you're a little bit more independent, um, you know, it's it's always fun getting to do those grown up things until you have to do the, the not so fun grown up things like pay the bills and you know, clean up the house yourself. So uh, it was kind of just a reflection song. So um, can you tell me more about uh, your debut album that you called uh, If I Could Have Chosen? Yeah, um, that was a mix of uh, quite a few different songs, a couple of like reflection songs as well. Um, and then some really upbeat, fun, like country pop songs um like saturdays in september and shotgun with you um and I'll, I'll i would say i think all of those songs were inspired by real life moments and um connections uh so yeah and then the title track if i could have chosen um was a song about uh chasing your dreams really and sometimes uh we choose things or maybe things choose us that are very difficult to achieve but um you just keep going so um, can you tell me more about uh, the single you released in 2020 called um up against you yeah um that one i uh i thought that was kind of a fun play on words because when you're up against something it almost it it sounds like it's a challenge or a struggle um Whereas in the song Up Against You, it was more of a, a love song of when you do have somebody to lean on um, to help you get through things and be there for you. Um, that's kind of the the premise of that song. So, uh, You released another album, didn't you, back in 2019 called um, West of Me. So can you tell me more about that? Yeah. Um, so all of those songs on the album I wrote with Sarah Harrelson. And uh, she was the lead producer on that album as well. Um, and uh, those were just our top favorite songs we had written at the time. And um, I really, I love that album. We got to go out on a tour. We went out kind of out more in the Midwest and Western United States um, and went out into like Montana, that sort of area and played some shows and combined it with our first trip to Yellowstone National Park, which was a lot of fun. So was it like working with a, another artist and producer? Um, oh, it's so fun. Uh, Sarah and I, we've been writing songs together since late 2016. Um, and and uh, we usually try to write one song a month together. Um, and she's in Nashville and I'm in the Omaha, Nebraska area right now. So um, all of our co-writes are usually online through a Zoom call. And uh, and then we use like Google Docs to type up our lyrics as we go. 
Now, the joys of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Kitty, what about uh, the single day released uh, back in 2022 called um, Heat Lightning? Heat Lightning. That was uh, another one I wrote with Sarah, and um, she also has some production credits on that, along with Paul Ray in Australia. And um, Heat Lightning, we uh, kind of came up with the idea of that after go taking a trip together to the beach, and um, I saw some lightning in the distance but it wasn't raining. It was just lightning. Um, and so we kind of, we were talking about heat lightning and I thought that would be a really good, uh, like love song as well. So. So can you tell me more about, uh, crumble? Crumble. Um, so that one was a very personal song for me and, uh, it was one I wrote very quickly. Um, just kind of, a. Uh, I, I always tell people it was kind of a release of a lot of emotions, things that I had been holding on to. And, um, just, I think it's a song a lot of people can relate to as well. It's, um, essentially about having your heart broken so many times that it just, uh, your heart can only break so many times before it crumbles to pieces. So that's kind of what that song was about. So where'd you get your uh, inspiration for uh, creating music? Um, a lot of it is just uh, personal stories and experiences. Um, I also really love good metaphors. And uh, a lot of times the, uh, this, the melody these days will hit me and maybe uh, just a, a main line of the chorus will hit me. And then I kind of pick up the guitar and figure out the rest of the song that way. So, can you more about our latest single called Call Me? Call Me. Um, so, Call Me is the first song that I've ever released um, that I didn't write. And uh, so, Call Me was written by three Nashville-based songwriters, um, Emma Lee, Karen Kosowski, and Alyssa Griffith. And um, I think they did a wonderful job. It was a song I can really relate to as well, and I loved the energy of it. Um, so, I was super excited to get to release it. So, uh, can you tell me more about um, how do you come about of meeting um, Blue Shamrock Music in Australia? Um, so, way back when I first started writing songs, um, I had a friend suggest that I put my music up on Reverb Nation. And uh, so, I would just put up little work tapes of me just singing and playing guitar up on that website. And one day, this guy from Australia named Paul Ray started following me and he left a nice comment and um so i followed him back and then before i knew it i had an email in my inbox um in december of 2012 and uh, he had he sent me a an mp3 track of um one of my songs that he had produced he had heard my track and then he went and did a whole full band um demo for it or a mix for it and he sent it to me and he said, you know, it's totally up to you, but I would like to help produce some music for you. And so I recorded vocals back here in Omaha, Nebraska and emailed them to Paul. And then he um, finished the mix, did the mastering. And that's how I've released all of my songs um, since my, my debut EP um, up until Call Me. Everything was um, either produced by Paul in Australia or um, Sarah Harrelson was involved as well. So, so uh, are you going to be releasing any new music in the distant future? Yeah, yep. I actually just got the mix for my next single the other day and um, signed off on that and now just waiting for the mastering. And uh, so that song, I'm thinking, will come out mid-April or late April. Um and then I'll be recording, I'm planning about three or four more songs this year to release as singles, and I'm hoping for an album next year. Well, that's good. Uh, so, uh, can you tell me, uh, how's it been an uh, independent artist for you? Huh? It's uh, it's a lot of fun, It's um, but it's challenging too. It's kind of tough when um, you kind of have to, it's kind of like starting up your own small business. You're kind of doing everything yourself. And of course I have a lot of great support between, um, Paul and Sarah, and I have some other great people, um, helping me out right now. 
Um, but it, uh, as an independent artist, it's tougher to get your music out there heard. Um, but uh, I still, I do, I love that independent part of it though, because then I get to choose what songs I like to release and kind of, I have a say in how things go, so. So finally, can some listeners, where can I uh, find you on all your social media? Yeah, um, on most platforms, um, my handle is Christine Bauer Music. Um, so you'll find me there over on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, I do have a YouTube platform like we were just talking about a little bit ago, but I don't use it much. So, um, But you can also find me over there as well. Um, thank you for listening to you today. Yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye-bye.